just doing a little test here of um a hotspot running Pi Star in um, YSF mode, I guess it would be called for Yesu radios. Uh, the left screen is a Yesu FT3D, the actual radio screen. And then the right screen is my dashboard and the contacts as they come in. Um, duration, loss, if there's a BER issue. Um, I'm not sure if I'm too close to my hotspot. I, I put the antenna down and we'll see if some contacts come through here. Last night this was pretty busy. It's pretty cool actually. I can go out my yard with the hotspot in my office and it reaches all the way out there. Listen to, listening to stuff in my garage while I'm working on things or walking around. Um, clearly I can't transmit back yet but that's the story of my life right now so we'll see here if we get some um, some contacts coming in which usually it's pretty busy I'm surprised it's not so we shall see if it's a long dead silence here I will fast forward the video but um there was a couple guys talking here a few seconds ago but one was breaking up a little bit, so I don't know if he got too far from his hotspot. I know there's the capability of plugging this directly into your computer and using the internet that way. Uh, I'm, I'll probably put another camera on the actual hotspot because it does have an OLED screen on it for like status and stuff. But basically it's a Raspberry Pi Zero. W, which is the wireless version, and it has a little OLED screen and an antenna port, and I'm assuming some sort of receive transmit board that connects through the internet to these different Pi Star. Um, they're called reflectors. So you see up at the top, he came in, says his call sign. Zebra, Lima 1, AG, Kill, Echo 7, Rugged, New Home, Seattle, Washington. Probably a little loud. Oh, no, get out of here, Seattle, Washington, the zoo. Sorry for that. Turn it down a tad bit. Me and that guy. You can go to QRZ directly from the app. Yeah. Thank you. 
I believe. I'm going to turn this down. I just threw this to vi this video together so everything's kind of not properly set up. But I think I'm getting like digital clipping or audio clipping or whatever the term would be for this. Because I'm literally two feet from my hotspot. I didn't seem to have this problem yesterday. And I'm assuming the hotspot's on full power. I pushed the antenna down, but, you know, it reaches pretty far outside my house. So I think I'm too close to it, possibly, because you can see their loss is 0% and their BER is 0%. So there's no error. I'm assuming BER stands for bit error correction or bit error, bit errors, if that would be relative to my cable TV stuff being that it's a digital signal but either way there's no loss on their end e on either of those categories but I'm hearing the, the audio break up or clip or whatever it's called these days so I think it's just because I'm too close to my um, hotspot but I am interested in this pretty cool stuff feels like cheating kind of because you're not really using an antenna I mean I am using a HT handheld but going through the internet so I'm sure there's people that don't really get into that but it's kinda cool to hear people from other countries clear as day via a ham radio but it's also via another technology but eh, it's another it's another option I guess another thing for me to figure out how to do but I will make this short and stop now because I just do it together real quick because I was kind of messing with it. But I, I, I will make a better video if anybody wants to. I mean, there are much better videos out there. <laughs> Trust me. But I figure, hey, I have, I have the equipment. Might as well make one myself. So disregard my allergies too. Sorry about that. So I'll stop the video for now. But I will resume eventually when I get a better setup here hopefully soon